We were able to speak to people and you know speak to the hearts of people and get exactly what's on their minds and on their hearts in terms of what their hopes are in terms of the future in regards to rebuilding and you know being more resilient and being resourceful and as we're promoting Bahamas stronger, being stronger and whole. I've been doing it for 24 years and I don't I don't profess to be a, an expert at anything. I think I'm a student of, of the world in terms of learning. I, I prefer to, I want to have a desire to learn and evolve and grow every single day. This trip I've evolved and I've, I've grown. I remember speaking to this lady Tammy over on Guanaki and I remember like looking at her and smiling and having learned at least a half a dozen things from just talking to her. In my professional opinion, Ariel recovery group is being a paradigm shifter in terms of the way how we do things in the Caribbean as it pertains to disaster, the mitigation, the response, the recovery and the rebuilding. It's a blank slate. We can write the story however we want to write the story. And what's amazing in terms of Ariel Recovery Group is the story that we are wanting to write or that we are writing is one of hope one of resilience, one of rebuilding, and one of bringing harmony in terms of a holistic approach from an emotional, psychological, spiritual, a physical, and, and, and ultimately for the Bahamas people, an economical approach. So from a holistic, wholesome manner. We're hoping to send a message of hope, healing, and help to it. Everyone in the Caribbean, but right now we're focusing on the Bahamas. To let everyone know that the Bahamas, the Bahamian people, they need your help. They need your help, they need your resources in terms of human, your expertise, and yes, they do need money because this is not going to be a cheap rebuild. It's an obligation to rebuild. It's an obligation to rebuild not to just yourself, not just to the country but to the entire region too. By, by rebuilding, you are giving hope, not just to yourself and your immediate family, your community. You can either be a host to humanity, a host to hope, a host to healing, a host to help, or you can be a host to ego. You can't have it both. And I choose to be a host to hope. And which is why I've partnered with, I'm supporting Brittany Turner and Ariel Recovery Group in terms of helping to shift the paradigm as we look at not just disaster preparedness. We know they're going to be disasters. We know they're going to be hurricanes um, that, that are going to come. We don't know exactly when, but we know they are going to come. And we know now, based on what we've seen, that they are now becoming more and more uh, fierce, more stronger, even more unpredictable. But what we do know that we are the Car in the Caribbean, we are here, we're gonna be here. We are always gonna survive, we are always gonna thrive, and we are always gonna rebuild and bounce back.